What is up guys? Today we are going to discuss how to add a video in your Wix code database. So for those of you following Wix code, you probably know that video was not compatible inside the database as of since Wix code was released. Well, that is now changed. Now before we hop into that guys, one, can we get a thumbs up for these new glasses? <laughs> Two, guys, wixtrainingacademy.com. Wow, I am overwhelmed with your support and the results that we have been receiving. I just wanted to first thank you very much for anyone that has already enrolled in Wix Training Academy. If you haven't yet, uh, it's a pretty much content library full of all my workshops, courses, resources, webinars, uh, exclusive roadmaps, um, masterminds, a community, and to enroll in this Wix Training Academy, which by the way is completely free, all you have to do is come to wixtrainingacademy.com, link in the description below, and head over to this academy page, and once there, you will be prompted to either go ahead and book a strategy session with me if you'd like to learn more about your project and how to take it to the next level or access the Wix Training Academy content. So now we're going to go into the content. And when you do that, you're going to get a access to a full dashboard here full of all of this magical content that I've been posting. So head over to wixtrainingacademy.com and go check that out. Now guys, let's talk about how to add video into your Wix code database. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to deactivate and start straight from scratch. So first things first, we're going to undo what I just did, which is we're going to turn on the developer tools for Wix code. So you simply come up here to code and click turn on developer tools. So once on, we go ahead and we see a couple different options. We see our properties panel, we see our page code manager, and then we see our site structure. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and create a new database. Now I'm not going to show you any really design factors in this video. I'm strictly going to show you how to add a video into the database, the current uses of it, who can add it, and how it can be used. So we're going to go ahead and add a new collection click start creating we'll just name it video content and then we'll go uh, we're gonna go custom use just so I could show you at the end of the video how this works and we're just gonna choose anyone anyone and then we'll go admin admin for these and then set and create collection so I'm simply gonna set up one field in this database and that field is video now here's where the magic comes into play this option wasn't yet available since which code was released but if we come down here to field type we can now select video you got it video bingo bingo bongo and we press add and just like that just as if someone was uploading an image you can now upload video now let me explain some of the restrictions. This is literally a completely brand new feature. So Wix hasn't unveiled everything as far as video capability in the database yet. So as of right now, the only person that can upload video into the database is an admin. So I know all of you out there wanting to create a YouTube type website not possible quite yet users cannot yet upload their own video and have it shared and all that good stuff quite yet it is right in this current roadmap this was the first step of that process so what that means is if you're the admin of the website to make your life easier in adding video you can come into your database maybe you have dynamic pages that you want to display video on and you come in here and then once you're in the database what you're going to do is you're going to click add video You'll add the video you want. Oh, here's my brother's music video. I'll click that. I'll add that in there, right? So that's step one. Step one is you create the database. Step two is you add the video field. Step three is you realize that at the moment, only the admin can upload a video into that database. Step four is actually utilizing that video. So as of right now, how can this be used from the database? Well, there's one way at the moment right now. I know this isn't going to be everybody's favorite, but it's still a nice little use. This is, like I said, brand new unveiled. So the only way to currently use that video that you put into the database is to go back here and whoops, we're going to get out of there. We'll go to home 
and we're going to add a dynamic page. So to add a dynamic page, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but I'm going to do it straight from our site structure tree over here. You go over to the video content database, click this little gear icon, add dynamic page. Once you do that, start creating. It's going to be an item page. We're going to call it an item page. Once that done, once that is done, uh, it has you add a field here for your dynamic URL. We're just going to keep it title and create page. Now, there's one thing I am going to go change to make it easier to show you at the end of the video. Now, obviously, when you guys build this out and you utilize this, um, your dynamic page is likely going to have more content than what I'm about to show you, and you'll likely have a custom field URL rather than what I'm about to do. But we're going to go back to this database and just for the purpose of the end of the video, I'm going to add a field called name and then I'm just simply going to add my name in there right now. Okay, so now we have that name field. I'll show you how that applies at the end. So we go back to our dynamic page here. We have our data set in here. We want to make sure it's connected to video collection, which our video content, excuse me, which if you do it straight off the database here, it is always preset to the database you create the dynamic page from and we have it here we want it to be read only in this case because what I'm about to show you is video nobody's uploading anything on this dynamic page it's strictly for viewing and then the number of items really does not matter in the case of this video but if you use multiple of these videos it will matter at some point up to 20 at least because that's the preset so now that we have that, we can now show you the only use as of right now for these videos. So what we can do is we're going to come in here and we go down to strip and then we're going to come down to classic strips, come into here. Now I'm going to show you just with the classic strip. So the only use right now of the video is actually to either make a video background but by using it in a strip. So you can now add video to your strip in here. But the nice part about this is that you can upload any video you want. So straight from your computer too. So you can upload a video from your computer into your database and then use it as a video background. Now, again, they are planning to unveil a whole lot more with video and capabilities, but what we would do now is we click this little connect to data button and then we're going to connect it to video. That's the field in the database. So we're connecting it to that field and then we have it set. Now all I have to do is one, I have to publish the website and we're just going to name it video testing. So one, I have to publish it. I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll click view site and then two what needs to happen is since it's freshly published I have to go in here to the database since I did this in the back end before it was published and I have to click sync so this way it will sync all of the items currently in the database to the live database because this back end one is the sandbox database it won't be useful if it's not in the live database you'll just get a blank strip like you would normally have in the editor. So now that they're connected to live, what we can do, and this is why I used the name field, is we're going to come in here and we're going to type in our exact um, uh, dynamic page URL. So mine was video content, which is the name of the database, slash, and then my first name, Michael. Okay, can't find the page you're looking for. Oh, yeah, I know why. You want to know why? Let's fix this mistake together because silly me, I created the dynamic page but never went back to fix the URL. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back here and we're going to change this. We don't want that to be title anymore. We want that to be name. Now, if we go ahead and click publish and we'll go to view site and we'll try this one more time and Michael types in video, <laughs> Michael types in video content slash Michael it will bring us to the dynamic page with a video playing right here just like that so it's useful in the fact that you can create a video type background key factor here as of right now I've been playing with this and Wix if you're watching this video because I know a lot of you product managers out there watch this I have not been able to notice 
any audio come through so as of right now the way I see this is you can put it as a video background but it's strictly a background in your strip there's no audio to them quite yet so keep that in mind I know this is still very limited as far as video in the database guys uh, but you can see it works it's functional you can add it as a video background it's a nice little touch and something that we didn't have access to before I promise you that I've spoken to Yoav which is the head of Wix code and he's got a lot in store for video coming to the databases so we're gonna be able to do a lot more with video create a lot more unique websites that utilize video and there's a lot of exciting information and videos coming regarding video. So I'm going to X out there, wixtrainingacademy.com, link in the description below, and then I, well, enroll in that, obviously, guys. It's free. It's absolutely free, and you get some awesome content. And then now I want to address one, more, one last thing. I've gotten a lot of questions about it. So this whole building a social network in Wix, the non-coding founder's guide, this new series that I've been running here on this YouTube channel. When is the next video coming? Well, great question. For those of you who don't know, who aren't on my email list, which you can also sign up from, wixtrainingacademy.com, I was on a vacation, wonderful vacation, got some awesome rest, relaxation, spent great time with family, friends, and made some awesome memories for two weeks. Uh, I was in Virginia Beach, Annapolis, Maryland, and New York City. So I had a great time, but I was away, and I devoted myself to turning off my technology and not doing any work while I was away. So for those of you standing by that were waiting for the next part of that social network in Wix series, it is going to come early next week. That's my plan. I just got back from vacation. So I'm going to work on banging that out and getting it out to you. Exciting series. If you haven't checked it out, head over to the channel, check it out, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Sometimes YouTube likes to be a little silly, and even if you're subscribed, you're not notified when I release a new video, which I all know you want to be notified. So make sure you turn on that little bell notification, that icon, so that way you're notified when, <clears throat> when my new videos come out. Guys, thank you so much for the support. Once again, can we get a thumbs up for these new glasses? I know I look a little bit like Harry Potter, but hey, who cares? And then also a thumbs up for video in the databases. That's awesome. Comment if you have any questions at all. Don't forget to subscribe and head over to wixtrainingacademy.com. Thank you guys very much. I will catch you in building a social network in Wix. Thank you very much. See ya.